Hey y'all, Iron here, and today we're continuing our playthrough of Snowplane Simulator First Snow. Um, so to kind of catch you up, if you haven't been watching, uh, we finished up the second house and we found some kind of artifact um, between the first and second house that we had jobs at. Um, so now I'm here, I'm just back in the office uh, checking if there's anything new to buy. I got a little bit of extra money on me, so I decided to take a quick peek. Um, and then we're going to go back here and actually check the Yeti room, the private room, quote unquote. And we see that the artifact's up there, but it doesn't look like much has changed other than that. Um, so I guess we still have some more investigating to do and figuring out. I still don't know what those codes are. I'll probably figure them out eventually here. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're actually going to jump in the truck. Uh, we have a third house that we have a job to go work on now. Oh, wrong button there. Okay. So let's go ahead and get our lights on and let's get over there and see what's going on. Now I was kind of doing some follow up um, and it turns out that they didn't have the sound effects ready for the trucks or the tractors uh, for this demo. Um, so that's why everything is so quiet and that's totally okay. You know, we're just here trying something out. It's a demo of what the game will be in the future and we're hoping, you know, it's going to be awesome. And I, they already said that they'll have sound effects in the full game and whatnot. So here we are, uh, we're at the next house and I'm actually having trouble finding the mailbox. It blends in very well. So let's see, double check. Yeah, this is the house. Kind of looking around here and then I think the, yeah, the gates are right here in front of me. There it is. All right, cool. So this is Dr. Isidro Golgowski. And once again, it's just a standard, uh, plow everything out kind of contract. So let's take a look around. Nothing too crazy. Branching path. So we'll get started by getting the first push off here and just making room for our plow. Now there's that weird little divider right there that was giving me a little bit of trouble and it's gonna give me trouble here in a second again. Yeah, just kind of, you hit this weird divider in the middle of the yard. So you just got to bust out the snow shovel and do some sw sweet 360 spins with it and get everything cleared out. And then we'll kind of address this right now while we're here with the little shovel. I don't know if the doctor here decided to put a little barrier for a walkway or what. Or just a mess with all the snow plowers that he hires. All right. So there are some lumps in here that we're going to take care of immediately. Now in episode two, you heard me talk about it quite a bit. Um, refine my strategy a little bit so that when we tackle these longer walkways, we're actually going to knock out these big mounds of snow first and then actually scrape them. So you can see here, I'm just trying to clear this out because even when he's picking up with the snow with the shovel, I mean, he's picking up 50 pounds, 45 pounds. So there's a lot of snow here that needs scraped off before we can actually get the real scraper out and clean up. So it doesn't look too bad. Let's see what we can do here. And I'm hitting a little bit of an issue with my back against the wall. So we're going to do another uh, scrape by, I guess, <laughs> uh, to get that cleaned up before we do a big push here. And that was a lot better. Um, not ideal, didn't make it all the way to the end, but definitely made it further than a lot of the uh, job at the second site. And I'll take snow pushes like this way, I'll take these any day compared to how the second site went. So not bad, um, good start. Leads to positive outcomes. <laughs> now you got to be positive when you're pushing this much snow. Now we also got our new uh, suit on. So hopefully we're a little bit better insulated to the cold out here and all the work that we're doing. So there's no new tools or anything to mess with uh, after finishing off the second house is really just making sure we get a, a nice insulated uh, suit to keep us warm while we're out here working right now.
All right. Almost done with this pathway here. And it's pretty nice. We're already past 10% from just doing that one little area there. And me being the person I am, I've got to make sure I clean up these spots. I need to wiggle my way in to get that out of there. All right, so a lot better. I'm happy with that. All right, so let's take a look here. Definitely got some mounding here. And this is a very small path, so I think if we clear it out nicely, we can do a quick scrape by. Actually, it might be more beneficial if we kind of just push the whole way down with just a shovel and then come through and scrape. All right, so I was getting a little cold and hungry, so fill back up so it makes sure we don't get sick or starve ourselves out. Kind of taking a peek ahead. Definitely goes into a bigger area and with larger snow mounds, especially right there. I mean, holy crap. Must have been a bad snow drift or something. So we'll kind of wiggle our way over here. And you can already see I'm picking up massive amounts of snow, close to six. Oh, that was over 60 pounds. All right, so we made our way through a good portion of that mound. There's some right here that mounded up. So we'll go ahead and clear that out. Then we'll let you listen to some of the ASM, ASMR of the snow here. It's just the silence of winter outside and trying to get all the snow out. So you can see the shoveling strategy worked pretty well actually for me. And I accidentally equipped the wrong uh, scraper here, but it's okay. No real worries at this moment. We're just kind of doing a quick cleanup. And then I hit the dreaded path, the side of the path that just immediately knocks my shovel off and gets mad at it. All right, so that's a good push there. Then we'll go through here and grab the rest of this snow too. Not too bad, a lot easier than uh, the house we worked on in episode two. Moving quickly and kind of getting things done without too much issue. Now I don't know why I'm still using this scraper. Since the scraper of the wheels is usually quicker too, but I just must not be in the paint attention at this point. I'm so frazzled from all the issues we had before. Oh, that was a big chunk of snow right there. Oh, not good. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get this back out then. Because this, oh, yeah, it's not happy with me. All right. We'll just have to clear this out. That was a big mistake on my part, not using the uh, scraper with wheels. Oh, that was close. Managed to get it out of there, though. It's very deceiving right there. Uh, a lot of snow in one area that we uh, thought there was just a little bit of snow. All right, so swing by through and just grab the rest of these little spots. Try our best to get a completion as high as we can. So we're at 22%, which is really good. Moving quickly through this one so far. All right. Oh yeah, now I'm really being petty about the little small spot. Clean up the small spots. All right. So looking through here, um, I meant to grab out my regular shovel. There is a ton of snow right here that needs to be cleaned out. And I think it's curious how there's so many different spots um, of large snow and not enough snow. Uh, I like the variety, but, you know, usually when it snows, it's pretty even across the board unless people were doing other things beforehand. So... Uh, you know, not super realistic in that part, but I enjoy the 
the difference because it allows you to say, okay, here's my plan of attack. You know, sometimes a simulation game doesn't need to be 100% real. Uh, it adds a little bit extra for a little bit of a challenge, a little bit of different strategy, or also just be boring the whole time. All right. Uh, let's see here. Kind of just knocking this out. Don't want to deal with this snow when I'm trying to push through. Uh, and here we go. We're going into the nighttime again. Going to have our weird blindness. And it is this chunky in here. It is beefy. All right. So I'm actually going to attack this a little bit. Ooh, there we go. That was blinding. <laughs> oh, that was so quick and sudden. Um, so I'm going to try to knock as many of the mountains out now. That way when I come through with the scraper, it should be a lot quicker and easier. I don't know what the true speed run of this is. Uh, when it comes to clearing snow, I'm not really worried about it. I'll just use my own strategies and be happy with that. Not too much more to work on here. We're just going to try to knock off a little bit of that so it doesn't get in our way later on. All right, so let's try using the scraper here and seeing how it goes. So I'm going to bail off to the right here and just get it out before it hits 500 and starts screaming at me. So that went really well, actually. I'm really happy with that. And you can see here, once again, I'm getting a great distance on this. To the point where I'm just like, okay, I gotta go dump. Because <laughs> I'm afraid that this is out of nowhere. I'm gonna hit max and dump it in the middle again. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. At this point, I'm feeling really good about what we're pulling off. I feel like I'm actually learning something about how to do snow removal. Oh, can we push it? Can Oh, not oh, close. And so, taking a look here, I don't know why I'm attacking that little corner. I meant to go over here. All right. Kind of cleared this out. Looking a lot better there. And I feel like I'm moving a lot faster, too, with this strategy. Definitely something to keep in mind worthwhile when doing the next set of jobs. I mean, we're almost 50% done, and I think I've been doing this for about maybe 10 minutes, if even. All right, here we go. Hopefully we get a clean push through here. I don't want to grab too much snow by accident. Oh, looking good. Look at that. Got this little corner right here that we'll clean out. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and push our way over here. And once again, oh, almost. That's okay. I was being a little lazy and just trying to quickly get in and out of there. All right. Um, so we're going to have to do here. We're going to have to shovel this out. Shoveling snow is so satisfying, but it's so dang cold to do it in real, when you have to do it in real life. I really appreciate someone actually making a simulator about sho uh, shoveling snow because it just, it's really entertaining. I don't have to put my boots on, all my jackets or bibs or anything like that. Instead, I can let some guy, on a I can be some guy on a computer and have a virtual guy do it for me. All right, so we filled up our calorie bar and got some warm tea in us. 
Now we're going to go to this fancy little garden and clear it out for the person. Although I don't know, like, is are they going to hang out in the garden during the snow? I mean, there are people out there that enjoy it. I'm not going to knock them. But I wouldn't be, t I myself as a person wouldn't be terribly worried about getting my garden cleared out after a snowstorm came through. I would stay inside, stay warm. Uh, the only time I'd be outside is if my little guy wanted to go play. So there was a massive amount of snow right there that I just didn't want to deal with when I was coming through. Now, it's not looking too bad for the most part through here. There are spots that I would need to uh, address, but overall, it's not looking like a massive disaster like the previous job. Now, what the game does mention is that um, actually walking through the tall snow actually depletes your, uh, depletes your ca uh, calories a lot quicker, which I thought was super interesting. They put a lot of thought into kind of, you know, how do you address walking through tall snow versus, um, you know, light snow. That's just a few, an inch or two compared to a couple feet. Really nice little touch, kind of thinking about the game as a whole and... You know, what it means to work through light snow and tall snow. Small and tall. So, kind of just trying to knock out these large areas once again. So they don't burden me later on. And I'm going to assume eventually the game gives you large shovels, large scrapers. Stuff that makes this kind of trivial. If not, then I hope they... Oh, there's a snow blower in the inventory. I forgot about that part. So that'd be really nice. So I tried to make the run here, but I didn't. Fortunately, I didn't make it all the way to the edge, so... Gotta shovel this out. I find it easier to highlight the snow to kind of get an idea of what the height is. Uh, and then when I unhighlight it, it's... I could then more clearly define what the, the large areas are. It's kind of weird, but it just works for me in that regard. Highlight it, then unhighlight it, and you get a better view, in my opinion. So, finding here that I can't actually really push off the edge of this garden. So what I do is I just try to get as much as I can pushed over, and then I'll come through and shovel the edges again. All right. I feel like there's a lot of things I could have done different in this roundabout, but, you know, this was my first attempt to getting it cleared out. You see here I'm trying to scrape the edge, but it's, it's gathering too much snow when I try to scrape the edge there. So we're just going to have to dig it out. And now we're probably about 15 minutes in. We're already close to... Oh, we're at 69%. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting close here. Probably about 15 minutes in, and we're uh, at the 70% mark, which I'm really happy about. Not happy about that, though. Don't like it when I push the snow in, and it, it starts doing that. All right. Now we'll try to ride this edge a little bit and push off, which went really well right there. So try to grab these corners. Oh, no. I definitely tried to do a little too fast there. Need to get my food back and my calories back up.
Oh, the game's yelling at me again. If I'm outside too long, then I might get sick. But I bought some new clothes, so hopefully we can stay out. We can actually finish this job in one go. Yeah, kind of weird right there. It was not really feeling picking up that snow on the corner or on the roundabout edge. So let's just try to push this in. Then I'll try to cut this and push, which sort of didn't work in our favor. Not happy about that. So we'll clear the edge off. All right. So, still got some work to do here, but a lot of the tall snow's gone, so it becomes easier to just push it in. Got lucky on that one. I really thought I was going to have to shovel that out. Ugh. Oh. That was sad. All right. So I think this is a stone path, which I find interesting that we're scraping this. I feel like all the gravel would yank out in real life. But like I said, the person must be just excited to kind of hang out and go sit outside during in the cold. Some people like that. Some people despise that. All right, so while we got the little shovel out, we'll try to clean up the edges here for the small percentage that we gain for doing that. And then we'll try the scraper again and see maybe we can... Oh. And then it just gets worse from there. Yep, so easier just get the shovel out at that point and just clean it up. Did a hit the edge there, did a little 360. Just being a little too... I don't know what the word is to say that I really should be worrying about small spots like that, but I do so much. Now it's a game about scraping stuff and clearing paths out, so maybe it's just a me thing, or maybe it is a everybody does the same thing. All right, so we're pretty much done on the circle here, so let's address this little pathway. Definitely some mounds of snow in here that need cleared out. We'll kind of shift to the middle here. Because there is a massive amount of snow right here. Now this looks like it leads to their little shed slash garage. Which I don't know what would be in there, but... They have asked us to clear it out. So I don't like the left side here. It's looking like it's a little deep too. Especially if we're going to make a long push with the scraper on wheels, so... We'll kind of just address this with the shovel before thinking about pushing it. You see we're at 88% now, almost 89. So we could technically clean, uh, finish the job up now, but we're missing a whole pathway. So I'd rather address it here and now. And then go down and clear the other pathway. All right, so cleaning off, just push off to the side there, thankfully. Not too much snow in this region after clearing it out with the shovel, so. He never said I couldn't pile up snow in front of the garage, so we'll just push it there. Kind of act super casual about it. Oh, gaining a lot of snow, and still good. Try to get this edge cleaned up, too. Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, not ideal. Yeah, I just kind of missed that whole spot right there. Could be a, a mechanic, could be, you know, just a little bit of a bug, not recognizing, scraping over it. So we'll go ahead and just use our small shovel to clear that out really quickly. There we go. Alright, so this looks really good, honestly. So let's go ahead and drink and eat. And then we'll make our way down to the other small little pathway we skipped. But we're at 92%, so this is pretty nice. So for the dock here, we'll go ahead and shovel this out and then try to scrape it too. Although it's a very small pass, so we'll see. Looks like there's just some mounds right here. Don't want to spend too much time with the shovel. Kind of just want to push through here. If simulations are real, then this poor guy is so mad at me right now. If he ever figures it out. Because I'm making him be so particular about shoveling snow. I hope this homeowner really appreciates what we're doing for them. Clearing their little stone pathway of all the snow. So they can come hang out in this... I'm assuming it's in a well. Not po Oh. Okay, so I busted out the scraper and I'm trying to push through here. And boy, oh boy, did that, that did not go very well. <laughs> that like immediately started bouncing off the edge. So that might not work through here. We might have to do a hand shovel all the way around here. And that's, that's not going to be fun. Oh, and I just keep bouncing off the edges. Yeah, because if I... Okay, that worked a little bit better. That did not work better. So it looks like if I push towards the yard rather than the well, it works a lot better for me. But at this point, I mean, there's so little snow... Yeah. Is it really worth it at this point? And then, well, yep, I hit the edge and it bounces my shovel. Yeah, and um, it's not letting me shovel there. So I, I think it's better off that we just kind of maybe try to get a last little bit of snow done and wrap it up for the day. Yeah, so it's looking good. So yeah, I'm just going to say yes. So 26 minutes, 99%. That's really good. Five stars. I'm happy with that. Now it actually says here that we should talk to the doc. So let's go see what the doctor has to say. All right, so fast and solid. Do I have any problems with working? Especially in the part a lot. And say, no, everything was okay. Well, that's, that's weird. What if we say something wasn't right? A legend of a ghost of a girl, a drowned girl who wants to stream. Tell me more about that. She fell in. Her spirit's been haunted in the area. Okay. Is this a horror game or a horror mystery game now? <laughs> so that's odd. Um, if we look at our map here, we actually have a question mark pop up over there. Now this is all fenced in. So I think we have to go around the side of the property. All right. Uh, yeah, so we can go over here. And I assume we just go off the road here. Yep, just keep going back to the stream. Oh, there's a swing. 
Alright. This is what the doc was talking about. He said something about dusk. So, we wait until dusk. And I start digging, trying to see if there's something in the ground. And then I want you all to brace yourself. Because this is what happened. A Sasquatch runs by. I don't know what is going on, but I'm so excited at this moment. And so that's kind of it, actually, for the game. Um, So basically what they're saying here is, you know, thanks for playing. This is, you know, the end of the demo. Um, and it's been honestly a blast to play. Um, you know, definitely some issues here and there, but nothing I'm going to knock this game too hard for. So that's going to be it for me today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I think that's going to wrap up first pl our snow plowing simulator for snow. Um, I think we're going to have to wait until the full release of the game or anything else that might come out or any updates. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, uh, subscribe if you enjoy this content. It helps grow the channel and keep me recording. Uh, thank you so much once again, and please have a great day. Thanks and bye.